I think a lot of us know the story of St. Joan of Arc, how she led the French army into victory, how she was a martyr, how she was called by God to do what appeared to be the impossible. Um, and I think when we hear a story super often, we tend to take it for granted. Joan of Arc is known as a historical figure you may learn about in school. She's also the chosen costume for every little girl at some point for any All Saints Day celebration. So you might think, okay, yeah, Joan of Arc, next. And that was definitely me for a while. I never really thought much about her after elementary school, after I wore a costume of hers um, when I think I was like five. But in recent years, I've been thinking more and more about just how crazy, powerful, and awesome of a saint she is, and just how she really speaks to the heart of youth culture and what we all are looking for. Joan was like about 13 or 12 years old when she first heard a call from God and received a vision of St. Michael calling her to lead the French army. And I think we have to realize about how crazy this is, right? Here's this girl who's illiterate, a peasant in a culture that completely disregards women, especially young women. Um, and she was asked to lead the French army into victory against the English. And here she is, and she just goes and proves herself worthy and ends up leading the French into many victories before being captured and martyred for her faith. And I think that's just so crazy. You know, she is the youngest person in history to ever lead an army into victory still to this day, which is pretty, pretty cool. Just to put it in perspective, it would be like if one of you went to our president and said, hey, I have a limited education and no military experience, but I think I have the solution to our problem with ISIS, so you should allow me to lead the armed forces. How far would that go? Probably not far, right? But that's exactly what Joan did. Here she is, this kid, just saying, just give me a chance, let me do this. And I think what we can learn from her is that sometimes God's going to call us to step out of our comfort zone, just like he called Mary to be the mother of God, right? Do you think that was in her comfort zone? No. Sometimes God's going to call us to do something that we think is impossible. But don't be afraid. Give God a chance. One thing Joan said before she was martyred was, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. Maybe God is calling you to do something that you're not really sure you can do. Don't be afraid. I want to encourage you to do it. You got it.